Hi, and welcome to the Eric Studio. My name is Soren, and I will today demonstrate a fly, a uh, uh, quite, quite universal fly for surface fishing. Uh, it's, it's a floating fly, originally developed by uh, an American, Craig Sam Blevins. Uh, in the late 1980s, he developed this fly for his uh, bass fishing. He wanted a fly that floats very well and uh, it's very resistant to fish and predators. So he developed this fly and actually this is the Sam's one bark, he calls it. And it's a, it's a, it's a fly he actually caught more than 100 fish on one specific fly only. So uh, it tells you a little bit about the how resistant this fly can be. So let's get on. I'm gonna tie it on the uh, Erex Light Stinger, the 122. And it's a quite easy fly to tie. Uh, the first part is just a tail, and then we're gonna put the body in. And the body consists of a, a foam tube. But uh, <coughs> at the start, I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, crystal flesh gonna take a few strands of gold if I, if, I could, if I could manage to find some I only use a few strands to tie it on at the bend of the hook and fold it backwards like that The tail of the fly consists of yellow and orange marabou. And I'm gonna use I'm gonna use two feathers here, so we're just gonna take the small amount of marabou. I'm gonna tie it in two parts of the yellow part. The first I'm gonna fold it around the hook. So one loose wrap. I'm gonna with my fingers turn it around. And then I'm gonna add a bunch of, like the same but only on top. And I'm um, using a orange. and put these on top. It's quite important to make this body as thin as possible. Otherwise it could be a little bit difficult to get the foam body on afterwards. I'm gonna finish off the fly here with the weight finish. <clears throat> and for the body, I'm gonna use a foam cylinder like this one. I've already pre-cut it, shaped it into the size of the hook. So I have like this, and then to fit the tail of the fly. I made a slit in the middle, and I'm gonna put a little bit of UV or a little bit of super glue in here.
folded around the body. Like this. I'm gonna mount my tying thread once again. Because I'm gonna make a small head on this buck. And I'm gonna add a little bit more of <coughs> a visual thing for the fly to be seen while I'm fishing it. So I'm gonna take a small piece of foam, cut a small strip in. And this part I'm gonna add on the top. The tie kind of like rises up from the head. Sometimes it's very easy to see the yellow color on the water on the surface, but sometimes it's almost a diff difficult to see it. And that's what, when you get the red spot, you can actually see that one. So you can vary this one in a lot of colors, uh, variations, but uh, this yellow, orange, red thing, it's, uh, it's very easy to see while fishing. I'm gonna trim off the fly once again. careful not to tighten the thread too much because you're gonna cut the foam piece here. We're almost done now. You can actually go fish with this one, but we're gonna, we're gonna pimp it a little bit. First of all, I'm gonna trim this foam part a little bit. Originally, Sam, uh, <coughs> when he made these flies, he kind of like painted eyes on the fly. Uh, we could do that as well, but uh, we got some stick-on eyes, flat eyes. You could glue them on. It's a way easier way of doing it. But uh, you could use UV resin as well. Uh, it's very easy to put on, and you don't need time to wait for all the glue to to dry up or the paint to dry up. So we're gonna use UV on this one. First one, I'm gonna add two dots on the back. I'm gonna add a small dot, kind of like a pupil, on these eyes. And with the torch, secure them. Of course it needs eye on the side of the fly. So it's a bit easier than paint, but still not as easy as stick on eyes. spot again. <clears throat> it's a magnificent fly to fish at this stage, but we're gonna continue on putting a little bit of extra on. I'm gonna add some uh, rubber legs. The movement of rubber legs in the surface is fantastic sometimes. So, uh, and I'm gonna add uh, just one on each side, but I'm gonna go through the body. So I'm gonna have four legs total. I'll take my needle and push it through the body like this. 
try to find. I'll be using this special tool that's made for pulling rubber legs through deer hair on big poppers. So you see, I can actually do like this. Add rubber leg. Drag it through like this. And just for securing these legs, we're going to add a little bit of super glue. And there you go. I'll just trim the legs to whatever size you want it to be. But I feel like this is this is fine. So there you go. The sand one buck. Give it a shot.